Here with Georgia State's Abigail Terra Apisa after her victory over fifth seeded Beatrice Capra of Duke in the NCAA quarterfinals. Abby, uh, you had a long match. You played well in the first set, but, but dropped the first set, but then came back and just were really relentless in the second and third sets. Talk about what kind of adjustments you made. Um, I mean, you know, I just had to uh, stay stay up with my feet and stuff, keep moving, keep moving, and I think that really helped me a lot, you know, just to get on the every ball and stay with her until I guess she broke down, so, yeah. Um, what kind of what kind of shots were working for you? Um, I just had, like, I feel like I had to run around, my backhand, you know, it's, was, it's not really working at the moment, so I had to run around all my forehands all the time. So, forehand, like, you know, we had a lot of cross-cut forehand rallies, and then once I found the right shot to go down the line, that worked a lot, and, you know, I had to come in a lot to cut her off take away some time from her. So. It was a hot day out there, but uh, you had was, some great support to pull you through, didn't you? Oh my gosh, incredible. Like they, the fans, like the people that came out to support me, they really pushed me, you know, they're supporting me and I'm going like, every time I win a point, I look at them screaming, they're screaming back, it just pushed me, motivated me so much. So thank you to them for coming out. And now uh, you got a little time to rest and now it's on to the NCAA semifinals. How does that yeah. sound? I'm still, I don't know, I'm trying to wrap my hand around that I won. I still feel like I haven't finished the match yet, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited. Well, congratulations, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.